In this video, we will be discussing rectification of errors. I have already uploaded part 1 video where I have explained what are two sided errors and how to rectify them. In this video, I will be explaining one sided errors or the errors which affect the trial balance. So, how to rectify one sided errors I have discussed in this video and also how to open a suspense account. For all one sided errors, we will not use suspense account. So, when to use suspense account and how to give rectifying entry with the use of suspense account. All these things I have discussed in this video. Okay, this is the first entry that I have taken. Rent paid rupees 2000 was wrongly shown as payment to landlord. So, as usual, first we will write the correct entry. In the first column, we will write the correct entry. In the second column, we will write the wrong entry. And in the third column, we will write the rectifying entry. So, what is the correct entry? Rent account data. Rent is paid. So, rent account data to cash account. Isn't it? What is the amount? It is 2000. Okay. Now, what was the entry? That was uh, recorded the wrong entry wrongly shown as payment to landlord. The rent that has been paid instead of debiting la rent account, we have debited landlord's account to cash. Amount is 2000. Okay. Now look here. In the part 1 video, what happened? Both the debit and credit entry was wrong. But look here, the correct in the correct entry, in the credit side, we have 2 cash. In the wrong entry also, in the credit side, we have 2 cash. The amount is also correct. So, there is no need to rectify the credit entry. We have to rectify only the debit entry. This is called as one-sided error. Accounting, we have dual aspect, debit and credit. If both debit and credit are wrong, we will call it as uh, two-sided errors. Here, only one aspect, the debit aspect is wrong. So, how to rectify it? When we are rectifying in the correct entry, in the correct entry, look here, in the correct entry, whatever you have debited will again be debited. The correct entry, whatever you have debited will again be debited. So, rent account debtor to in the wrong entry, the debit, in the wrong debit should be credited. So, when you are rectifying one-sided error and you are rectifying one-sided error in the debit, credit entry is correct, only the debit entry is wrong. What will you do? Correct debit. The correct debit will again be debited. The wrong debit will be credited. Okay, for one-sided error, if you are writing the rectifying entry for only the debit, then the correct debit entry will again be debited. The wrong debit entry will be credited. So, what is the wrong debit entry? It is landlord account. You have to credit it. So, landlord account. The amount is 2000. Okay. So, now this is the rectifying entry. After writing the rectifying entry, look how it will get corrected. See the debit landlord. This is the wrong entry. This should be cancelled. So, for cancelling, we have credited it. So, this debit and this credit will get cancelled. And the rent entry which we have to debit is now debited. So, this will stand. This rent account and this two cash account will stand. This is the rectifying entry. Are you clear? Okay. I have taken one more example for wrong debit. Salary paid to X rupees 7000 was wrongly debited to X personal account. So, let us write the correct entry. Salary has been paid. So, the entry will be salary account data to cash account. What is the amount? It is 7000 both in the debit and in the credit. This is the correct entry. But what has been entered? wrongly debited to X personal account. So, instead of debiting salary, X account has been debited. X account data to cash account. What is the amount? 7000. So, look here again. Here again, the credit entry is correct. To cash, to cash. The credit entry is correct. So, we do not have to rectify the credit entry. 
we have to rectify only the debit entry. This only is wrong. So we have to rectify only the debit entry. So when you are rectifying the debit entry, the correct debit will again be debited. The correct debit will again be debited. So salary account. 7000 debtor salary account debtor 7002 the wrong debit will be credited so what is the wrong debit x account to x account 7000 so by giving this rectifying entry what will happen this 2x and this x which is credited and this x which is debited will get cancelled ultimately what will be the uh, rectifying salary account debtor to cash account is this clear? Okay, this is an example for wrong debit. Only debit is wrong. If the credit is wrong, how will we record? Look at this example. Cash received from A rupees 5000 was posted to B's account. So, what will be the entry? Cash received from A. So, cash account debtor to A's account. This is the correct entry. The amount is 5000. Okay. What was entered? What was the wrong entry? It was posted to B's account. Instead of posting it to A, we have posted it to B. So, what, what would have been the wrong entry? Cash account data to B's account. The amount is 5000. Okay, now we have to rectify only the credit. See the debit is cash account data, cash account data. So the debit entry is correct. We have to rectify what? We have to rectify the credit entry. So when we are rectifying the credit entry, the correct credit will again be credited. The wrong credit will be debited. Then only this wrong credit will get cancelled. To cancel the wrong credit, we have to debit it. The correct credit will again be credited. Okay. So, 2A's account, this is the correct entry. 2A's account will again be credited. This 2B's account, wrong, uh, wrong entry, wrong credit will be debited. So, B's account will be debited. B's account debtor to A's account. It is 5,000. 5000. Okay. So, to understand this better, I have taken one more entry where the credit entry alone is wrong. Interest received from Ram 2000 was wrongly related to Ram's personal account. What will be the correct entry? Cash account debtor. Cash account debtor to Interest account. This is the correct entry. The amount is 2000. Okay. What was the entry that was recorded? It was wrongly credited to Ram's personal account. So the entry will be cash account data to Ram's account. Instead of crediting interest account, it has been wrongly credited to Ram's account. The amount is 2000. So look at this entry. The debit entry is correct. Cash account data, cash account data. The debit entry is correct. What is wrong? The credit entry is wrong. If the credit entry is wrong, the wrong credit will be debited. Wrong credit will be debited. So, Ram's account data 2000 to the correct credit will again be credited to interest account 2000. Okay, so I hope you understood how to rectify a wrong debit only and a wrong credit entry. Now, this is the next uh, entry that I have taken. Cash received from A rupees 5000 was credited to A S 500. Okay, here what I have taken is the amount that has been recorded is wrong. The entry is correct, but the amount is wrong. In that case, how to record this? Okay, what is the right entry? Cash received from A rupees 5000. So, when cash is received, the entry is cash account debtor to A's account. What is the amount? 5000 is the amount. This is the correct entry. What was the wrong entry? 
it was credited to A as rupees 500. That means in the A's account only we have entered the amount wrongly. It is 500. So the wrong entry is cash account debtor 5000 is entered correctly. But this to A's account has been entered as 500. So this is correct. The debit is correct. Okay. In the credit also. The entry is correct. The entry is correct. But what is wrong? The amount is wrong. So when the amount is wrong, we will come across two situations. Either we have to increase the value or we have to decrease the value. Look here. Actually the right amount is 5000. But we have recorded as 500. So we have to increase the value. We have to record it as 5000. But we have recorded as 500. So, we have to increase A's account by 4,500. Am I correct? So, we have to increase. If you have to increase the amount, then if you have to increase the amount in the credit, if you have to increase the amount in the credit, then give a further credit. If you have to increase the amount and the entry is in the credit side, then give a further credit. So, what will be the entry? 2 a's account 4500 the difference amount only we should write it here 4500 now we don't have anything in the debit side see the debit entries are correct we don't have any entry in the debit side so now we have to open a suspense account suspense account data 4500 so did you understand in the previous examples we did not open a suspense account only now we are opening a suspense account did you understand this yes okay now i have taken another uh, transaction cash received from a 5000 was credited as 50000 so the same thing only previous transaction only i have taken but here the difference between the difference between the previous entry and this entry is we have to reduce the amount in this entry we had to increase when we had to increase what we did for credit, we have given further credit. When you are decreasing, you have to reverse. For the credit, you have to give the debit. Okay, and what will be the amount? The amount will be the difference. Instead of 5000, we have recorded it as 50000. So, what is the difference? The difference is 45000. Did you understand this? Yes, so what will be the entry? The credit entry should be debited. What is credit? Credit is to A's. So that will be debited. A's account debtor. Okay, now let's see how to record it. What is the correct entry? The correct entry is cash account debtor 5000 to A's account. It is again 5000. Okay, now what is the wrong entry? The wrong entry is cash account debtor 5000. There is no change in the cash account. The cash account has been recorded correctly. Only which is being credited to A as 50,000. Only in the A account the amount has been entered wrongly. So to A's account 50,000. Okay, how to rectify this? When there is a wrong credit, we have to debit it. The wrong credit, we have to decrease the wrong credit. So, we have to debit it. So, A's account debtor, what amount you should write? You should write only the differencing amount. The difference is 45,000. To suspense account, 45,000. Okay, did you understand this? When the amount is, when you have to increase the amount, if it is in the credit side, give a further credit. If you have to decrease the amount, if it is in the credit side, reverse entry, debit entry. Okay. Look at this, wages paid 1000, wrongly debited to wages as 100. Here again, the amount only is wrong. So, how to do this, we will see. What is the correct entry? Wages account debtor. How much is wages? Actually, it is 1000 to cash. 1000. This is the correct entry. But what was the mistake? It was wrongly debited to wages account as 100. 
so there is a mistake only in the debit entry when there is a mistake only in the debit entry amount you have to see whether you have to increase the value or decrease the value actually you have to record 1000 but you have recorded only 100 so you have to increase by 900 so to increase a value in debit you have to give a further debit that's all to increase a credit give a further credit to increase a debit give a further debit so the entry will be wages account debt are 900 this is very important you should take only the difference amount to suspense account 900 clear okay this is the next entry this is the same as the previous one wages paid rupees 1000 but here it is wrongly recorded as 10,000 is this clear so the correct entry will be wages account data 1000 to cash 1000 this is the correct entry what was the wrong entry wages account has been debited as 10,000 instead of 1000 we have debited as 10,000 so what has happened here we have recorded it as 10,000 but actually we should record it as 1000 only. So the difference, what is the difference? 9,000 should be reduced. We have to reduce the value by 9,000. If you want to reduce a debit, give it as credit. So what will be the entry? Suspense account data are to wages account. What amount will you write? Only 9,000. Very simple. Are you clear with this? Okay, this is the next thing I have taken. Credit sales to X 10,000 wrongly posted to Y as rupees 1,000. So, the difference between this statement and the previous statement is in this statement, the person to whom we are credited is also wrong. In the previous entry, Wages account instead of 1000 we have given a wrong amount. Here the entry the person to whom we have credited is also wrong. So how to rectify this? First write, write the correct entry. What is the correct entry? Credit sales to X. So what will be the entry? X account data to sales account. This is the correct entry. What is the amount? 10,000. 10,000 and 10,000. Okay, what was the wrong entry? It was wrongly posted to Y. The wrong entry is, it was wrongly posted to Y. And what is the amount? The amount is also wrong. It is 1,000. The credit entry is correct. Only the debit entry is wrong. So, what should we do? How should we rectify this entry? When you are rectifying this entry, the correct debt, the correct the correct debit should be debited again. Okay, we are going to rectify only the debit entry. So, whatever is the correct debit, it has to be debited again. The wrong debit should be credited. The wrong debit should be credited. Okay, first I will write this entry. So, the correct debit is X account data. How much? 10,000. The amount should also be correct. So, 10,000. 2 Y's account. In Y's account, whatever the wrong, this Y's account is the wrong entry. Whatever amount is there, that only you should write. Okay. So, to Y's account, 1000. Now, what will you record? This will not tally. See, debit we have 10,000. In the credit we have 1000. You all know the debit and credit should tally. This, if you have to tally this, what is the difference? 9000. The difference is 9000. This difference will be transferred to suspense account. Are you clear with this? The correct debit will be debited. The wrong debit will be credited. Okay. And the difference, the difference in amount will be transferred to suspense account. Did you understand this? Okay. Now I have taken one more entry. Depreciation 2000 was not posted to depreciation account. 
okay an entry is missing depreciation is 2000 but it was not posted to depreciation account so what is the correct entry depreciation account debtor 2000 to asset account 2000 okay what was the wrong? It was not posted to depreciation account. So, no entry was given for depreciation. Two asset is there. Two asset is there. It is 2000. But the debit entry is missing. It is not being posted. So, when there is a mistake in the debit, what will we do? If there is a mistake in the debit, the correct debit will be debited and the wrong debit will be credited. Isn't it? This is what I have taught you. So, what is the correct debit? The correct debit is depreciation account debtor. The amount is 2000. What is the wrong debit? There is no entry here. There is no entry. So, we have to transfer it to suspense account. Are you clear with this?